Okay, well, we'll go ahead and get started. So the G4 Fawn Trainer is actually pretty cool. Um, one of the things it does is it allows you to play any text file that you want. And you can use the text files that I provide on my Morse Code Ninja website to do that. Um, <clears throat> what I recommend is that you first make sure that uh, you're running the latest version of G4 Fawn. Um, as of the moment, it's 10.6.5. And if you click on the about, it will tell you if you have the, the current version. Uh, there's been a pretty major um, update in the last, I think, year. So that would be the first thing that I would check is make sure you're running at least version 10.x. Then the next thing is to make sure that you have the text files that are that are geared for G4 Fawn. And if you go to my website and if you scroll down past all the practice and down a little further. <coughs> So right here under number five, there's the practice text.g4fawn.zip. And uh, the reason why you want this is that G4 Fawn encodes the uh, special pro signs uh, or the pro sign characters a little bit differently than other programs. So that's why you want to use that in particular. <coughs> And then once it's down, downloaded, you'll want to go ahead and um, open that. And what I'd recommend just for simplicity is to extract that to the desktop just so it's easy to find. Um, Windows has built in uh, zip support. And when you double click on it, you're actually just browsing inside the zip file. And that might be a pro problem for certain programs. So I think it's best just to go ahead and extract it. <clears throat> and when we open it, like where we have right now, what you can do is you can just um, drag it to the desktop here. Of course, I dragged it where you can't see it. Um, I'll move it back into place so you can see it. Just move it here. Um, <clears throat> so now that it's downloaded and it's extracted, um, we can go into the software and then click on text file. And this will allow you to browse for wherever you put it. Um, as I mentioned, the desktop it's easy to get to, but if you have a better place, feel free to, to use that. And then if we scroll down to where I had saved it, double click. And then <clears throat> these are all the files um, in that zip file. We can just choose one of them. Um, so how about the challenge? So I'll go ahead and stop that. <clears throat> so uh, the way G4 Fawn works is it uh, goes ahead and plays part of it, and then it shows you part of it as it as it goes forward. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, that's pretty much how you can use the text files that I provide within G4 Fawn and get it to show up um, on the screen uh, shortly after it plays. So anyway, I hope that you found this useful.